What the frick was that? What was that? What was that? Alright. <laughs> so, yes, I'm wearing a hat, having a bad hair day today. Whatever. I'm, I'm too lazy to fix it, so I just put a hat on. Okay, moving on to the topic at hand. I finally decided to watch the Alien movies. I watched one, pretty good. Watched two, probably better. They were both pretty good for what they were. I could see the appeal. It was intense. Left me on the edge of my seat. It was. I was invested to the end. And now I decided to watch three. And I regret my decisions. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to watch all these movies, so I guess I had to suffer through this one. And yes, there will be spoilers, but if you haven't seen it at this point and you're watching a review about it, then what in the world? Um, I don't know what just popped on my screen. Hopefully I can record this thing. Um, so, what the, so in the first few minutes... They freaking kill off what's his face? I already forgot his name. <laughs> and Newt and Bishop. They they kill off characters that I found myself invested in. I was surprised that everyone survived at the end of the last movie. Well, I knew Ripley was gonna survive. That that much was clear. And my my guess was her and Newt were gonna be the two survivors, but I was surprised that all four of them survived. Um what in the world? Yeah, okay, I don't care, TikTok. Um, don't judge me, I'm gonna delete that app anyway. So, <laughs> they freaking kill her off, kill them off, and immediately I'm like, okay, I don't like this movie. <laughs> like, I found myself wondering what was going on in the, in the beginning with them being invaded. This can all be avoided if you just quit going into the chronic sleep or whatever the heck it's called in these movies. Just stop going to going to sleep and hibernating or whatever the heck you're doing. Just sleep like a normal person. Wake up. Just live on the ship until you reach your destination. Is that so hard? Because crap keeps going down every time. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> it keeps something keeps happening. Have you learned your lesson by now? All right. So, so. Yeah, crap goes wrong while they're sleeping, and s somehow the alien creatures ended up on their ship, and yeah, bye-bye Newt, bye-bye whatever your face was, bye-bye Bishop. Already I don't care about this movie at this point, but why not just suffer through the rest of it? So now the only character that's left from the rest of the movies is Ripley, surprise. And if that wasn't bad enough, that they... they the fact that they killed them off, they straight up <laughs> start cutting Newt oh, Newt's body open, just butchering her. Like, oh, is there an alien in her? And I'm like, okay. Or like, I was, I had hopes. I'm like, they're they're not gonna kill her off. Cause in the last movie, I was like, um, during that scene where where she was in the um, I don't want to, I don't know if I want to call it a ventilation shaft or whatever, but you know what I mean. That that one th scene. I was like, they're not gonna kill her off. No way, they're not gonna kill her off. And then the and then the alien creature gets her, and I'm like, holy crap! What are you doing? And I'm like, they're not gonna kill her because my prediction. I keep making predictions when I see these movies. Like, okay, that character's gonna die. That character's gonna die. Like, I can tell it's pretty predictable. Like when a character goes alone, they're like, they're dead. But with Ripley, I'm like, they're not not Ripley. Uh, Newt. I was like, they're they're not gonna kill her off. There, there's no. There's no freaking way. You're not just going to introduce a child to the story and then kill them off. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. So, but then Saved by the Bell. But whatever, that's a review for another day. That's, that's, that's Aliens. I'm talking about Alien 3. In this movie, she's just dead from the very beginning. And I'm like, okay. So she's going to come back to life. Maybe like a zombie type of thing, like a hive mind or something. But, but she's not, she's not dead, right? She better not be dead. Don't do this to me, maybe. They cut her open. Blood's everywhere. Just... <laughs> you know, I'm like, Ripley, isn't there any hope in you that maybe she, maybe she's alive? Nope. Okay, just 
perform the autopsy, cut her open. I'm like, okay, yeah, she's definitely dead at this point if she wasn't before. And not only that, but they straight up throw her body and the other dude's body into flames and cremate her. Ripley's like, okay, let's go cremate her. I'm like, okay, yeah, she's definitely dead. Like, the <laughs> like the freaking movie just want, wanted to make up, drive the point home that these characters are dead and are not coming back. Oh my gosh. Okay, rant over. Moving on, moving on. So Ripley's on this planet with these monk people, this with this religious group or something of, of just men. Um weirdest decision for for a movie like this but okay and um so the whole movie takes place at this prison with these religious folks that's pretty much it and then stuff starts to happen <laughs> stuff's going down the creature that was on board her crash landed ship running loose and and once again like the last movie the stakes were upped because now we see like the layer you know like there's all these different aliens instead of just one on board there's just an army of them and then you get the queen the mama which i thought was going to be the situation in the first movie turned out to be just the one or whatever but now was the stakes were way upped like all zero to a hundred and now, cut to the third movie. It's just one again, <laughs> I think. Unless there was a couple of them. I really didn't understand. So those, like, face grabber things, are those the same creatures? Or do they just spit out these baby things? What are they called? Xenomorphs or whatever? Um, at least that's what a dude referred to creatures as in the second movie. I'm assuming he was referring to these alien creatures. But anyway, um, so then, <laughs> then they kill a freaking puppy, and then the, I don't know. Pe people always are always saddened by animal deaths, but to me, people are way more important. And it's always sadder for me to see people get killed. Um, which is why I was so upset that they killed the characters that I was invested in since the last movie. You introduce characters. You get me attached to them, and then you freaking butcher them before this movie even begins. Like, are you kidding me? But, it, okay, yeah, I said rant over, so I'm moving on from that. But I'm not happy about it. Uh, so, yeah, I guess Ripley's just a part of this group now. Like, they don't like, they won't, don't want a woman around because of temptation or something. I, I don't know. <laughs> something along those lines, and they, um... And she just kind of hangs around them anyway, like, oh, I'm going to tempt you. And, you know, she even goes far with one of them. Um, not really on screen, thank goodness. But, and, yeah, and then there's, like, gruesome deaths as usual, but almost especially gruesome in this movie. Um, one dude's chopped up in a fan. A couple are lit on fire. <laughs> Craziness happens. And then there's really not a lot to retell. They end up with this plan or whatever to run through these ha different hallways and corridors and shutting doors. I don't know what happened there. I, it was hard for me to follow along. Somehow the creature, I mean, the creature was shut behind the door, but then somehow it got around and then, like, attacked the dude there. I don't know what happened there. The whole thing was kind of confusing to me. Um, and there's, like, a big piston thing. I guess I thought I was going to crush the creature, but then it ended up just putting it in this thing with the molten stuff or whatever. I don't know. The whole movie was just bizarre and weird. And it felt almost unnecessary. And it, and then, and then it turns out Ripley has this, has one inside of her. And then, by the I'm like, oh no, stakes are up. What are they gonna do? She's gonna survive this movie though, so they're they're gonna do something, right? Right? No, 
She freaking dies. She kills herself at the end. Drops into the stuff. And that's the end of it. Literally everyone died. All the... This whole prison... Like, the, the whole point of this movie was them trying to kill this creature so they could live and then they all end up dying. Was that the point? Or were they just trying to just make sure the creature dies? Like, doesn't get off the planet or something? Just... I, I don't know. <laughs> what was the point of this movie? Not only did it undo everything from the previous movie, but it does it undoes everything in its own movie. <laughs> so, yeah, I thought for sure Ripley was going to survive this movie too. Like, she was going to be the only survivor again. And, like, the first movie, she was the only survivor. I was like, well, okay. Um, that, was actually, that was actually my prediction in the first movie. Um, was that she was going to be the only survivor. Maybe it was going to be her and one other person. It just ended up being her and a cat, <laughs> which was weird. And um, then in the second movie, it'd be like, just, um, it technically ended up just being her again because by the beginning of this third movie, kind of before it enters into the story, the characters from the previous movie are confirmed killed off so technically speaking she was the only survivor of the last movie in a way that if in between these movies um so technically she was the only survivor of the last two movies and now there's no survivors of the third movie i i don't even know what's waiting for me in the fourth movie to be honest i'm gonna give it a go wish me luck um you know from there i'm gonna continue on to whatever whatever other movies, uh, I think there was like a, a sequel just a couple of years ago, what was it called, Covenant or something, um, or a reboot, reboot or something, I don't know, this is my first introduction into the Alien franchise, is these three movies, um, so yeah, we'll see where it goes, I was invested in the first two movies, and in this movie just crapped on everything, <laughs> what are they going to do now, uh, the next movie is called Resurrection, so I'm assuming they bring Ripley back, because it's literally called Resurrection. Um, I thought maybe they were going to, maybe they're going to bring Newt back or something, but since Ripley died at the end too, it's probably just going to be her, or maybe they're referring to the alien species, or something. The aliens never were never killed off, were they? Were they? But that colonist facility on that planet and the second one was blown up, but not the whole planet, right? Like, not the sh ship or whatever that chamber was where this whole thing started in the first movie. That wasn't blown up, was it? I'm going to have to rewatch them to understand what the heck happened. But they, this, the alien species is still alive, right? Like, they never actually killed off the species. Oh, wait, no, no. In the second movie, they did kill off the queen. That's right. Yeah, I guess, I guess they did kill off the species, but I'm sure there was a bunch of eggs out there somewhere. There's a saying that their queen can't pop up or something. I don't know how it works, okay? I don't know. I'm just going to continue watching this franchise and see what happens. My investment has pretty much been lost, but who knows? Maybe Resurrection will resurrect my interest in this franchise. We'll see. So, yeah, that's my review. More or less of all, of all three of them thus far. Um, I don't even need to make a review about the first and second one. It's just I felt like making a review about this one um, today since I finished watching it and I had I thought it was terrible. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, something needs to be said. Um, it's been like what, 28 years since this movie was released? Something like that. Almost 30 years. Dude, two, the year 2000 was 20 years ago. With that sink in. <laughs> but, yeah. So this is an old movie, so it's not like I'm, you know, probably preaching to the choir or something. I mean, I'm not really, it's not a whole lot to be upset about. I mean, ta some time has passed, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, still, that movie, wow. That was so terrible. <sighs> Why did I have to kill off Newt, man? I was hoping she would be the main character in the future movies or something. Like, she would be a replacement for Ripley. Like, 
it seemed what they were going for was it's like her new adopted daughter since she never got to raise her own daughter. Um, although it wasn't the classic trope of um, of you couldn't save your daughter, so now um, so now this n new kid is like your sort of restart like I won't let it happen again like like it's your second chance or whatever I think they did that in like Last of Us games or something um you know that whole trope but the thing was is her biological daughter did live a full happy life I don't know if it was happy but it was she lived a full life ripe old age so <laughs> um uh, but this was her chance to like you know actually raise a child like ra raise raise a daughter you know like that like kind of making up for that in a way but nope they kill her off so now it's just ripley again nope they kill her off too so now it's nobody freaking nobody i don't know what the next movie awaits but we'll see what's happening my prediction is that they're gonna end up resurrecting ripley somehow that or it's going to be a whole new cast of characters. One or the other. It's either going to be, they're going to... Yeah, I know, I'm telling you guys, you all probably know this information by now, since I'm late to the bandwagon. These are my, through a fresh lens, that you guys get to re-experience this through me, I guess. So, okay, so, <laughs> my prediction going into Resurrection is that, the fourth movie, is that they're going to either somehow bring Ripley back to life. I don't know how that's going to be done since she's pretty much cremated, right? Um, but somehow she's going to be resurrected or she's going to be cloned or something like that. Or maybe the creature's hive mind or something since she had one in her. So she was like part of the species, like in tune. So maybe her consciousness or something. I don't know, that's way out, a way out there theory, but I'm assuming it's just going to be a whole new cast of characters. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe her her granddaughter or something, like it turns out her daughter did have a kid, even though they said she didn't, but that would be weird. Or that would be interesting, but I was hoping it would be Newt, though. I was hoping she would be, like, eventually go on to become the new Ripley, but no! <laughs> Gosh dang it. Anyway, that's my review. Freaking 0 out of 10. No, no, no. Probably probably a 4 out of 10. Maybe a 5 out of 10. 5 out of 10. That's that's okay. And the first two movies, I guess, like, were both... Or no, the first one, maybe an 8 out of 10. The second one, a 9 out of 10. This one's a freaking 4. 4 out of 10. That's the end.